first unboxing we've got is the Samsung Gear VR. And um, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty excited about this one. I've been waiting to get a portable uh, portable VR headset for a while now. Um, I've got this HTC Vive, which I'll be doing a review on uh, soon enough. But uh, you know, the idea of a portable headset to me is actually pretty intriguing because you know, with the HTC Vive, you've got all those cables sticking out the back, and uh, with the Samsung VR headset. You don't have all the tethered cables and you rely on the battery source from your phone. So essentially, it becomes a lot more portable. So let's just take that out. Thing in there. And there it is. So we've got the Samsung Gear VR. So we've got it around the box. Oh, we're playing box UST, uh, sorry, USB Type C, um, micro USB. Oh, that's right. It's, so it's got USB Type C and a micro USB adapter, which is nice, which will basically ensure that your older Galaxy phones will work with this headset as well. So they don't just tie you into just the Note 7, which is the only Galaxy device to have USB Type C right now. So uh, nice little graphics on the, the box, you know. Pretty nice looking box for the most part. Uh, grab my knife again. Let's see here. So, it's a pretty simplistic packaging, nothing, nothing too fancy. So, we've got sort of this Plasticky material, not as impressive you know, like when you compare it to Apple products and whatnot. Um, you know, pretty cheap, but I guess that's, you know, this, this thing was only uh, $100 when I bought it off uh, Samsung's website. And uh, to be honest, that's a really good deal compared to, let's say, the HTC Vive, which is, you know, $800, or Oculus Rift, which is about $600. So, you know, for $100 for a VR headset, you know, you can't grow on. Of course, you have to have a cell phone, but who doesn't these days? I mean, you know, pretty much everyone does. So uh, let's see, we've got the, uh, actually, let's take a look at this box real quick. Leave that there. Let's put it over here. Um, so we've got some uh, user manuals. Put that to the side. We got it here. We've got a strap of some sort. Interesting. Put that over there. Another strap. So two straps. What else is in here? And I believe this is the adapter. Okay, so two adapters. UST, a USB Type C to micro HD. No, sorry. USB Type C to a uh, micro USB and another adapter for USB, USB uh, micro USB. So, very cool. Let's put this over here. Actually, I'll keep that there for now. So, let's take a look at the straps real quick. I'm guessing this is gonna go around the headset like so. That's my guess at least. See, another strap. I'm guessing this is going to go on the back side, like so. Uh, let's see. I'll try to figure this out without reading the instructions, but <laughs> if I have to, I'll have to cut so I can take a look at the instructions real quick. All right, so after looking at the instructions, because uh, couldn't figure this part out here. Let's see what we've got. All right. This goes here, like so. And this just straps into the back there. Okay. So, put that aside. So basically, this goes around your head. This holds the top part. Seems pretty snug. Let's take off this plastic here. 
I always like the sound of peeling plastic from a new device, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. It's really on there. Nice. Okay. Um, I said, it's, I mean, it's a really nice looking Really nice looking headset. This is the trackpad right here. And I'm gonna be, uh, be doing a, uh, a much deeper dive on this device uh, once I've been able to spend some time with it. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys to get the, uh, the initial, initial uh, viewpoints on it. So this is the cover for the front, because it comes right off. Let's see how it fits on my uh, Galaxy Note 7. So I've got, I've got the case on there still. Let me just leave that on there just to see. Hopefully I don't screw something up here. All right, so you flip that out. Snap that right in place. So that's actually pretty cool. We've got the uh, case, the OEM Samsung case on my Note 7 and it still fits in there. So that's pretty awesome. Let's uh, get a quick feel of how this comfort. Pull these straps, I guess. Oh wow, and that's actually really comfortable. I probably look kind of doofy right now, but that's fine. It's a tech show. It's supposed to be doofy, right? Or should I say geeky? Um, we're nerdy, uh, but yeah, this this actually is. It's pretty comfortable. It's a little. I gotta adjust it just a little bit for my nose part, but I mean, there is no light leaking through this, guys. This is pretty awesome, and I've got the studio so, studio lights on me right now, so. For it to be this dark tells me that it's doing a really good job isolating any light from leaking in. And that's really one of the uh, big factors Big factors about the uh, VR for the immersion part of it. If light leaks into this thing, it really takes away from the immersion. Um, that's one of the, the bad reviews of the Oculus Rift and one of the reasons why I didn't get it is a lot of folks said that uh, light would be leaking from the nose piece into the, into the face mask, which is you know, kind of takes away, like I said, from the immersion. So uh, that's pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. Let's move on to the, uh, to the next one.